Today we came down to CNET to interview Natalie Del Conte, who is a popular video blogger online, and ask her a little bit about herself. So everybody meet Natalie. Steve Jobs bows out of Steve Note, a new PlayStation Portable is said to be in the works, and New Yorkers may have to pay extra for iTunes music. It's Wednesday, December 17th. I'm Natalie Del Conte, and it's time to get loaded. So, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you for coming down here. Welcome so, to my set. Yeah, this is great. Um, tell me about Loaded, your show on CNET. Well, Loaded is a daily technology news show, so we write it the day before and even the morning of. So it's a show that, in theory, you can wake up in the morning, watch it, and know everything that you need to know about consumer technology. So tell me about how you got started in print and then the transition into video online. You know, it took a while for me to consider myself a broadcast journalist because I was a print journalist. I used to work for newspapers and just living and working in the Silicon Valley, you have no choice really to learn about tech and write about tech. So I made an appearance on the show Cranky Geeks once and Adam Curry, who owned Pod Show at the time, he said, you know, I'll help you. I think you should do this. Um, so I did it. So he, we launched Textra in 2007 and I did that for the whole year and then I joined CNET in 2008. What are some of the ways that CBS buying CNET has affected your daily life? When CNET was purchased by CBS, one of the things that they wanted to do was start to integrate really quickly. And so they took CNET and said, you know, how can you contribute to our content on the early show? And so I started to do the early show pretty regularly. Natalie Del Conte from our partner CNET. Good morning. Good morning. We now are doing about two to three segments per week of tech related stuff on the early show. So this has cameras and also motion sensor. It's been really great to work with them because they let me decide what I think is interesting that week in tech and all produce my own segments and, you know, go on the show and I bring all my own gadgets and I decide, you know, what goes on and I work with producers there that are really talented, so it's been a lot of fun. I just, I really like working with the early show. So, do you think you could ever life cast? To be honest, my life's not that clear. It's like, I work a lot. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I get up really, really early, I, you know, and then when I go home at night, I sit on my bed in the studio apartment, you know, in a wife beater and pajama pants with <laughs> a glass of wine in my laptop. Like, nice. that's my life, you know. <laughs> so if people want to watch me do that, by all means, but I can tell you it's not that interesting. <laughs> the Playboy article. Oh, yes. Um, it's interesting people... to talk to you about this because you were in it too, so. Right. Yes, let's do. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think that you get objectified sometimes from being on camera? You know, it's one of those things where you're like, Okay, I'm flattered that I'm eligible to be considered for something like that, but it's not how I validate myself. It's right. not the first foot I put forward, you know. I mean, you and I, we, we wear nice clothes for our shows, and we wear makeup for our shows, and we, we do want to look our best at all times, and I'm very feminine, and I like clothes and shoes and makeup <laughs> and that kind of thing, but mm. um, that's not the, you know, you always put your best foot forward, and that's not the first thing that I want people to think about me, because... Mm -hmm. People will watch your show because they think you're attractive and that's fine, but they're not going to watch every day. You have mm -hmm. to be interesting, you have to be smart, and that's the first foot I put forward. So, Are you proud of yourself? How far you've come since being in San Francisco with Textra to now being a full-time broadcast journalist? You know, there aren't too many times when I just kind of sit back and look and say, oh, I'm doing so well for myself. But there are some times when I'll stop and say, oh my gosh, I've come so far and just, you know, high five myself. Yeah, well, give me a high five for coming on the show. Definitely. High five for having me. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm Sarah, and this is Pop 17.